Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you joined me today. My heart's very heavy. Something has just happened in San Bernardino. Uh, there was a shooting in a public building. I understand a number of people, they said 14 people were killed and 14 others were injured. I don't know the final accurate count, but in any case, it's a tragedy. And one of the questions that you and I would normally have is, where is God? Why does God even allow these things to happen? Uh, so I wanted to read a, a short passage of scripture and talk with you about that question. It's Psalm 46, and it goes this way. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling. And I was thinking that that's just a normal question people have, where is God? And I want to say to you that God is present. He's present in this world everywhere. Now, some people have tried to say that God is no longer welcome in our courtrooms. You can't have the display of the Ten Commandments in our schools. You can't have prayer in our schools. You can't display any scriptures or talk, mention the name of Jesus in any military or government um, locations. Um, and people are being told, you know, that God and the Bible are strictly taboo. I've heard some Christian leaders say, that, well, people are asking God to be absent, so he is excusing them himself and not being there. I actually disagree with those kinds of comments. The truth is, God is present everywhere. He's omnipresent. He knows everything. He actually knew what mankind would act like before he ever created the universe or this planet on which we live. And before you and I were ever born, he already knew all about all the sin of all mankind since the beginning of time here on this earth. And God already had a plan to resolve and to rescue man from our own sinful nature. When it says God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble, therefore we will not fear. It's a reminder to me and ought to be to you that God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So there again, where is God and why do these things happen? During this time, this age in which we live, mankind has a freedom of choice. This will not last forever, but at this time we have a freedom of choice. The choice is to believe in God and to obey Him or to disobey God and ignore Him you can't really say to God, uh, you can't be present in the school or in the government building, so you have to get out because actually no one has the authority to tell God to leave anywhere. He's always everywhere. And he's especially present with men and women, boys and girls who believe on Jesus Christ. He will never leave you, nor will he ever forsake you, even if you're in the military, even if you work for the government, even if you work for a business, even if you work for the school system, even if you're on the street, God will not leave you when you know him as your Lord and your Savior. And then it says, therefore we will not fear. What is there to be afraid of if you're a believer in Jesus Christ and you know that he holds you in his hand and he's not ever going to leave you, even though these all these terrible things happen? Sometimes the tragedies are terrorists or evil people or people who have mental illness and they do awful things to one another. Even though all these things are happening, there is someday going to be a day when this is going to stop and God's going to come back. Jesus is coming back as King of Kings and of Lord of Lords. And my question to you is, are you ready to meet him when he comes? Are you ready when you stand before him? You need to get ready, and you need to get ready soon. So don't be afraid. Trust him.